So we don't need to bother about anything now. So now we can start playing with angler. If I want to play with angler now, what we have to do? Simply, uh, we have two options. Online option is there, offline option is there. Same like side strip. So online option is for what purpose? Without setting anything of angler, if you want to play with online directly, then we can go with this online option. We have three options. Using flanker, we can play. <laughs> using using uh, using glimpse tool, we can use glimpse tool. You can use and uh, using stack bridge also we can play. Okay, you can use any one of the tool to play with the uh, angler online. So in angler two and uh, four version time, this is the free version. We can use with the plunker tool. But now it become paid one, so I will not suggest to use. But uh, maybe some companies may pay this one and may be using. So that's the reason. Just you can. I will show you how to play with this uh, plunker. Okay, plunker type. You can see if you want to play with plunker, you can come here. This is version of Angler 2 for time. This is a free one, but now it become paid one. I don't want to suggest, but uh, letting you know because this is one of the editor we can play online. I don't need to set up any Angler application setup or any installation anything anywhere any system. Uh, if you have internet, you can connect and you can play with this. If you want to, for example, if you want to create a new project Angler, click on this one. Then that's, that's it. He will be getting basic picture of Angular, and if you click on this play button, run button, he will be able to see the output also. This is online one. This is a third-party company, Edge Grid company is maintaining. So now it become paid one. So if you want, you can continue. Otherwise, you can leave it. But this is another one of the options we have in online tools. Now Angular 5 and 6 and 7 version time, we have a glimpse tool. So using glimpse option, we can play with the uh, Angular also. This also I will show you. You can see now. Come to this one. Angular dot io. You can type. Okay. And uh, you can see now. Here. Get started. Here you have to choose left option drop down. Okay. Drop down option you can choose. In this place you can choose five five version. In this place five version you can choose. So that it will navigate to five. And in this place, home page only, you can see get a glimpse of Angular. Simply click on this glimpse of Angular. Simply click on this glimpse of Angular so that you will be getting online editor. As like Visual Studio, how we are able to see similar way here also we will be able to see. Okay, so you can see now just you can see now, right? Clearly. You can see this is a Visual Studio. How we are able to see in Visual Studio code, similar way we are able to see here also. Okay, so here uh, now you, in this place you can see the output. Here you can see the you can modify the code also. Okay, this is option. This is option we have. Okay, so now what we have to do? Simply we can uh, we can click on this one. As that you will be able to get the output. Okay, run it and we will be able to see the output. You can see now. And I want to change this. For example, I want to change this tools of hero. As per something, I can change it so that I can able to play. Okay, welcome to Angular. If I change it, compile anything, I don't have to do anything. Whatever changes I want to do, I can do it here. It will be reflected here directly. <clears throat> directly, it will be reflected. Okay, so this is how we can modify. This is another tool. This is another tool. Okay, so now I want to show you another option. This is one option we have seen, right? So now I would like to show you latest one. Now we, we are in Angular 8, right? So I would like to show you that 8 version. Stack bridge is coming from 8 and 9 also. Okay, 8 and 9. 8 and 9 version type. This is the tool we have, online tool. You can play with this one or you can play with this one also. Stack bridge or glimpse anyone okay but i will not suggest because online tool why we need to pay we are getting angular only free why we need to pay online tool for editor purpose we have to pay so that's the reason i will suggest you can go with this or this one but we have this one also some companies may use this one at that time we should be aware of that one also that's the reason i'm just letting you know okay so now i'll come here and i can see now just click on get started you will be able to see in the home page itself you can see first link click here to ready the simple project stack bridge Using stack bridge also I can play. Currently we are in 9 version. Even 8 if you go also you will be getting this link. Just click on this link. It will navigate us to that particular page.
okay it will navigate us to take that particular page so stack bridge also we can play so using any one of these of three options we can play with angular online you no need to set up anything for the angular you can simply play with this one you are directly connecting this one and you can able to play similar way here so somewhat look and feel will change some people will uh, say like a uh, angular rate on what fully change or something like that no don't hear the gossip that's simply they change the look and feel but uh, there is no problem you can play once you are able to play with any one of the angular version you can able to play with all the versions also no issue okay so now we will see now you can see now this is the output you are able to see okay but uh, i want to modify this texture i want to modify this my store how can i know previously in this place i have that play i have that one so i am able to modify it no problem but now how can i modify that one previously what happens if i click on this one what happens if i click and get the clips on what happens i am able to see this one i am able to modify it if i want to modify this one how can i modify i am not able to get here or if i want to modify here how can i modify here okay i did not getting anything here so how can we get it how can we modify it here lot of files are there if you see here lot of files are there which file i need to modify okay here also if you see five version actually how can i know which version of angular means in this place you will be having in this folder you will be having one file called package.json in this place you can see which version of angular we are working on currently 5.2.11 in this example and if you see in this example you will came to know product package.json if you see by seeing this package.json only we can say which version of angular we are working on currently we are getting 8.2.14 only this application this online tool this application is working with 8.2 this application is working with 5 why i am showing those two mains i just want to make you sure both are same i just want to make you sure both are same but additional yeah. features will be there and performance wise will be different but nearly application flow i want to understand now we want to modify this example this code and i want to modify this code how can i modify if you want to modify this my store so how can i which file i have to open and which file i have to modify i don't know for that purpose we need to know the application flow or not this is very 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 important if you understand this flow you can understand any complex existing projects also in angular projects also and you can create your own custom angular projects also whatever any complex applications also you can understand only you should concentrate on this application flow if you know this flow you can play with any project an angular so that flow we will see now okay so this is very important please concentrate please okay so if any angular project will follow this flow only it may be 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 also okay so now we will see one by one first i want to modify this my store for that purpose what i have to do first i need to for that purpose i need to know the application flow here also i need to know the application flow how can i know that one for that purpose what we have to do is in angular js ng app is the main one right similar way in Ang in angular 2 and above versions main dot ts is the first file will boost up in the application will boost up the application main dot ts is the first file you can take any these two examples see i would like to open this file and also this file also see both are same right one place we have so now in this folder picture i have main dot ts this is eight version and in this is five version i would like to show you both at a time so that you will get the small differences are same same also will be there the eight version application i am having main after main dot ts file and five version application i have main dot ts file both are same only we have as of now simply first line we i need to keep this is the first file will boots up the application okay will load the application first this file only any angular application if you have if you take two and above you will be seeing first dot main dot ts file should be there if you don't have this file you will not get the output okay so main dot ts file is the main one first file will be bootstrap so first line what you have enable prod mode one module is included from this package in java how we are including the packages 
similar way here also we have some packages angular is providing some core packages those packages we are going to get it from node package manager i will show you that one how we are going to fetch this one in our local but this is one package in this package we have this module that module we are including why i need to include this module first question so why i need to include this module means see this feature is available from angular 5 and above onwards this feature is not available two and four time what is the use of this feature what is this line this five also we have this one what is the use of this one means simply if i want to switch between the see i am developing the angular application once i develop the angular application if you want to deploy it i will keep this one in separate production server if i want to test it before moving to production i will keep the same code in development server also i will keep the same code in for testing purpose testing server also multiple places the same application multiple servers i have to keep it if i want to change it also i have to keep change it three places okay then only i can able to see but uh, that is making somewhat difficult to cast developer so instead of that what angular people doing is you can keep uh, all this code in one server you can switch the development and test and production environment or any other environments in uh, simultaneously in one with one server only how using this module we can switch between production mode development mode testing mode or some other mode some other mode qa mode or some other mode any mode if you want to switch it using this module we can switch it okay so that's the reason we have this mod okay so this is how we have to include it okay we included this module then after what i have so this why first line i included for that purpose to switch between development production mode and testing mode or some other mode if you want to switch it we can switch it how we can switch it at that purpose angular people introduce one folder here environment folder in this place default the development environment line number 5 we can see environment they are included okay if you open this environment folder environment you can see here here by default environment production is false is there okay and if you open environment dot prod you can see production true is there so main dot ts file first we are going to import this one in this module we have a method called enable prod mode okay production mode remaining all work will like as like development or testing mode or some other modes okay so if you want to make this application production mode means you have to enable this condition environment dot production should be true so that we will have in where in production if the id for this is there in this place what we have production is false there it means this is a development mode so you cannot go to this it will not work as like a production environment it will work as like a defaultly dev environment it will work if you want to make this application as a production means dot prod you have to add it here so that you, this condition will be true so that this this application will work as like a production mode means we have we have code will be compressed and the three five will not be there that's the, that's the only thing we have okay is it clear okay that is the only thing we have okay so he, that is the reason only we have this mode okay this is the mode yeah, environment mode we have environment dot production environment mode we have okay so environment mode or production mode is useful for that purpose only clear so if you want to switch between if you want to create some other environment testing mode or pure environment you can create that file and you can get it that file okay like that multiple environments we can add it okay so this is how we can switch between multiple environments okay so that purpose only this first line and fifth line and seventh to ninth line we have if we don't want to switch between production and environment you can ignore this line or if you remove also our application is going to work fine there is no problem okay but why we have this one is to switch between production and dev and the pure environment uh, with one code we have if you want to switch it you can use this one okay that's the purpose and if you are developing you see either this way you can move it or you can run simply ng build prod that i will let you know later okay so that i will let you know this one this line is why, why we are keeping this one we are clear second line why we need to include this line for purpose the another package is there in this package we have a module called platform browser dynamic inside this module we have a method called platform browser dynamic method inside that we have a method here yeah, we have pla browser bootstrap module bootstrap module is the key module whatever whatever thing you are going to pass to this module 
the total content will be rendered in the browser what this method will do is this the, what this method will do is whatever content you will pass whatever file you will pass the total content will be rendered in the browser this bootstrap module task is only render whatever data you will pass to this method the total content will be rendered in the browser that's the reason we kept inside the main.ts main.ts file main task is whatever file you will pass the total file content will be rendered in the browser using bootstrap module from where we will be getting this one we will be getting inside this bootstrap module browser by browser dynamic module in this module we have this method this method will whatever you will pass that content total will be rendered by browser what is the task of this one that is the task of this one okay so this file will contain see second line why we kept because of to get this bootstrap module why we are keeping this bootstrap module what is the use of this one to render total content whatever we will pass to this method the total content will be rendered by this one browser that is the uh, task of this one this will take care of rendering in the browser okay and what content we are passing app module content we are passing from where that module is coming app called inside app dot modular ts dot ts as it is main language ts file so i am not going to mention any ts extensions simply you can see app called inside app dot modular ts whatever content we are going to keep inside this app dot modular ts the total content will be rendered in the browser using what bootstrap module because we are passing to this module so main task of this main.ts what it will do whatever file we will pass that total file will be rendered in the browser what file we are passing app module file so that app module.ts file here we have okay before going to this module i would like to understand any 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 word if you don't understand in this place let me know i want to know anyone if you don't understand please let me know here here first line for what purpose we are get clarity Second line, why we are keeping bootstrap module getting purpose. Third line, whatever content you want to pass, this is called root module. This is called root module. Okay. So whatever content you will pass that module, what is module also I will explain. But inside app main dot ts file, what app dot module dot ts, whatever we are going to keep, that total content will be rendered by main bootstrap module dot ts file. That is the thing we have. Is it clear? So bootstrap bootstrap module passing inside we are passing this one. So whatever we will keep inside this module, all the content will be rendered. By using this bootstrap module, that is the task of main.ts file. Okay, this is also we know five to nine line we know why to situate in environment purpose. So everybody be clear or not? Why why we are writing this one? We are got clarity, right? So now we will go to another one. So what is there? See in this place inside we are bootstrapping app module. Whatever we will keep inside the app module, the total content will be rendered in the browser. So now I want to know whatever what is the content we are keeping. The app dot module dot ts I am opening. In this place, you can see these many files are there. This many content is there. So this total content will be rendered in the browser. I want to show you Angular 8 application also. Same flow is there or not? You can see Angular 8 application. Same thing, no change in one line also. Everything is same. App module only, root module. So app module only we are keeping. Anyone Hello. having any doubt? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please. can you yeah can you explain it on a platform browser dynamic? Yeah, you can see now the platform browser dynamic is coming from one more one package. One package is there. Inside this package, we have a module called Platform Browser Dynamic Module. What is the use of this module? Means it will contain one method called Bootstrap Module. Bootstrap Module, whatever we will give, the total content will be rendered in the browser. Instead, to get this Bootstrap Module purpose only, we are going to import this Platform Browser Dynamic Module. Okay, in this package, I have this module. Okay, from where this package is coming, I will show you. Okay, in our local, as it is online, it is they are taking in this dependencies. In this place, we have that one. Okay, how we are getting also, I will explain in our local. I will show you also. But okay. the street now, as like this is package. In this package, I have this module. In this module, I have this method called bootstrap module. What is the use of this bootstrap module? Means whatever content you will pass to this module method the total content will be rendered in the browser that is the task it will not do anything whatever you will pass it may be some other name some other thing some other thing everything will be rendered in the browser 
that is the only thing it will take care okay now what we have okay. app module whatever we have that thing we want to see for that purpose what we can do see this is what we want to understand so if you see eight also if you see a five also same thing we have so first line what we have browser module we have so first line we have to import it okay so in, now we understood that whatever we will keep in see this file the total content will be rendered in the browser that is what is a clear, clear concept inside this file whatever we will keep that content we will get it in the browser if you want to see in your angular application any content if you want to see also you have to keep it inside this file only this is called root module if you want to see any content you have to keep it in this place as of now by default root component is app module because we called inside this app module inside this main module we are calling this one only so that's the reason this is root module if you want to change some other module also we can that time we have to create our our own module but default if you see any angular project by default app module is our root module okay so app module inside whatever we will keep that will be rendered in the browser by using this bootstrap module so now we are trying to understand what is what we kept why we kept each and every one we want to understand so import inside first line we kept like a platform browser dynamic so we first included this browser module why why i need to this is another package platform browser another package is there inside this package we have this module why i need to include this one see angular application as it is web application what we have to do we are going to some client some users may open this one in the e browser some users may open this application in chrome browser some users may in safari mozilla uh, some other browsers a lot of open a lot of browsers are there all the browsers the same application with they may open at that time currently i am i have the nine version but i as I, I was implemented this application with five version so that time some browsers may not support this version some applications may not look and feel will change right so that issues will come agree or not any web application if you are working means most of the time we will face browser issues most of the time ie browser issues we will be facing to handle all the browser compatibility issues angular people introduce this module if you include this line first line you no need to bother about any browser compatibility issues <clears throat> 90% of the browser compatibility issues will be handled by this module. Why I am saying 90% means I was implemented this application with 5 version, but now we have 8 version. Now if you use upgrade to browser module at 8 version, then no worries, everything will be 100%. But uh, I was implemented, I did not upgraded, but now every browser is updated. So wh what will happen? It will be facing some problems. So that browser compatibility issues is still 10% if you want to handle we have one more file called polyfills.ts file in this place you can configure whatever see for example some uh, date picker is working fine in a uh, chrome browser mozilla browser but the same date picker if i'm opening in ie browser it is not working okay or some object is working fine in chrome browser but the same object if i'm trying to call it in this place i'm not i'm not getting okay so at that time what you have to do is you have to import see for example date is not working you have to enable this one if any arrays are not working you have to enable like this in polyfills if you include like this so that all the browsers are going to support it okay so browser compatibility issues if any are facing means most of the time first line app module first line will take care of 90 percent or 95 percent of the browser compatibility issues still if you are facing any issues means directly as we cannot change in this module we have a possibility to change it here polyfills.ts file in this place any browser compatibility issues are there you can modify over here so that all the browsers is going to support it so why i included this first line to handle the browser compatibility issues first line is clear okay if you are not clear please ping me in the chat window i will repeat it there is no problem this is not student teacher training this is employee employee de developer developed training okay so you can feel free to ping me any anything if you don't understand anything also you can just ask me uh, repeatedly there is no problem okay my intention is i want you to understand the concept each and every word why we are writing why we have that one okay so that is my intention clear so first line why we included to handle the browser compatible issues second line why i need to include this one so now i will give the definition of module what is module module is simply a class module is a simply class <coughs> 
simple class. Okay, so using class in test, what we can do? We can define properties, we can define methods, we can define constructor. Other than that, can we do anything? No, right? So I want to do, I want to pass to this class, I want to externally pass some external files, external modules, external HTML pages, external CSS pages. Can I? To this class, can I pass? No, right? So to handle these scenarios, to hand, to pass external files, or external modules, external components, external directives, pipes, if you want to pass it to this class, what Angular people done is, they introduced a concept called decorator, decorator's concept. Not the directives, decorator's concept they introduce. What is this decorator's concept will do now? <coughs> Whatever external files you will pass, those things using this decorator, this is called one decorator. Using this decorator, whatever you will pass inside this one, all the things will be sent to this class. Normally, class syntax, you can define properties, methods, and constructor only. Other than that, we cannot do. But now I have a situation, I want to pass some external modules, external uh, components, external directives, external HTML pages, external CSS pages, external JS pages to this class. How can I pass? I cannot pass directly. To handle this one, types to people introduce a concept called decorator's concept. Using this decorator's concept, actually those who are Java developers, they know annotations. Same thing, same concept here we have. Annotations here we have replaced with decorators, they, they renamed that thing. Okay, so using this decorator's concept, we will pass all the, con all the data to this class. That's the reason there is a concept called decorators. Got it, got it. So how can I get this decorator? So what is the final definition? Uh, uh, what is the final definition of module means? Module is a class. Okay. When we can say that the class has a module means, if my class is defined with at the rate ng module decorator and pass some instructions in the form of metadata, all this selected area called metadata information. All this information I want to pass to this class. So I cannot send directly. Using this decorator's concept, I can send all this information to this class so that I can do whatever operations I want. Inside this, I want I can do anything, constructor properties I can define. But externally, if you want to pass anything, I have to use this decorator. If my class is defined with tetherate ng module decorator and pass the instructions in the form of metadata, then only we will say this class as a module. I will repeat the definition of module. What is module means? Module is a class. When we can say this class is a module means, if my class is defined with at the rate ng module decorator and pass some instructions in the form of metadata, then only we can say that class is a module. Why we are doing all this stuff, we came to know. Because I want to send all this information to this class, manually I cannot pass, so externally I am using decorator's concept. This is technical definition of Angular. Uh, module but uh, real time where exactly we are going to use module means module is a collection of components directives pipes services all things together we will say this is a module okay all these things together we say this is a module okay so now uh, what is module means if i want to integrate entry and functionality in my real time application that time we will go for module what is real time example take an example like a hospital or bank what happens if you take any bank or any hospital what happens if you take bank see any bank will contain loans any bank will contain some uh, salary department will contain some some other department inside if you take loan department what happens home loan will be there personal loan will be there uh, some uh, car loan will be there some multiple loans are there any if you take any loan also there will be some customers, there will be some employees, there will be some, again, we have to pay that, uh, we have to give them documents and we have to pay, pay uh, we will receive some amount. We have to pay to pay back to the bank. If you don't pay, fine, this will be there. All the things, entry and flow is there or not. If you take hospital also, multiple departments will be there, like uh, uh, screen dermatology, gynecology, some other department. Each department will, will have one, some doctors, some patients, some nurses, some medicine some inpatients, outpatients, all the things will be there or not. So here you can see entry and flow. If you want to implement like entry and flow anywhere, if you are seeing in your application means, you can go for separate module. Okay, that I will show you, it will give you example real time, I will show you, but I just want to give you what is module means. Module is a class. 
technical definition module is a class if you want to pass some extra information to this class that time how we can pass using this at the rate ng module decorator you can pass all the information okay technical definition of module means module is a class how can we say the class is a module means if my class is defined with at the rate ng module decorator and pass some instructions in the form of metadata then only we can say that class is a module okay clear and um, real time definition entry and functionality if you want to define anywhere means you have to go with module what is module collection of components directives pipes services all the things together okay to implement that entry and flow whatever you need you can include all the things in, and you can go to keep inside this module is it clear is it clear module means collection of components directives pipes and all the things so now i want to pass all the components all the directives all the pipes all the services everything so that's the reason i'm using decorator so why i'm using this decorator concept may see if i want to get okay i i will give that more later but just that is a brief idea okay so now first line is clear second line why i am including to get this decorator i need to import this module this core package we have this module inside this module i have this decorator if you don't import this module if the if you don't import this one you will not get this decorator you will get error now you can see now if you don't include this one you will get error if you see now decorator is not there because we have to you know need to trust me you can see directly if you import this one then only we will be getting this decorator this decorator using this one only we are rendering so whatever i told this one is rendering or not so main that whatever we are keeping inside this one that content only rendering or not so because of this decorator only all this data we are passing to our class so that's the reason i'm able to see if i don't import this one then this decorator is not able to find so that's the reason i'm not able to see any output you can, you can see, see clearly, clearly. understood or not you are not able to get anything whatever i'm saying is correct or not now for practically i want to show you it is clear now i got the output okay second line we am keeping to get this decorator purpose okay third line why we am keeping here i am using two way data binding if you see something else uh, it is changing or if you removing this is called two way data binding okay this is called two way data binding if i am changing something directly at a time without taking seconds of time or without clicking on submit or enter or something i am directly whenever i am entering straight away without taking anything i am getting the output straight away means this is called two way interaction view to model model to view two way data binding this is called two way data binding i will give the examples later but uh, if you want to integrate this two way data binding must and should we have to include this forms module because this ng model is there right that ng as like java if you import it that is not sufficient because directly this import is cannot be accessed by this class so what i have to do whatever you want to get this data you have to pass through this decorator so we have to register or some people will say initialize or some people will say loading so whatever you can say register or initialize or loading whatever you can say so if you want to pass this module to your class means you have to register under this and under one module decorator under import section this import section is useful for only importing external modules purpose because we can bootstrap only one module at a time 
as it is single page application in main that yes we are bootstrapping only one module you may have some doubt i can import it here right so why should i go for there only one module at a time because in single page application only one module at a time i can integrate so what i am doing whatever i want to see all the things i have to keep it in app module only so that's the reason how many modules in feature multiple hundreds of modules also we are going to keep it here insert this one only it may be custom module or it may be built in module also we can create our own module that's what i am saying custom module okay all the things based on the requirement we are going to import it over here okay so as of now i have two modules so two modules are included here you may have some doubt and the module also module why it did not included because why i included this one because to get this decorator purpose only so i don't want to access this one throughout my application okay so that's the reason i'm not keeping but this browser module all the pages i need all the pages should be able to see in all browsers and forms module i may use all the pages i may not use or i may use i don't know which component you are going to use two way data binding which component you don't know you use so you may not use two way data binding but you should be acting whenever you want right that's the reason if you import it and you have to in declare under import section so one one should declare like this i mean to say if you want to use two way data binding in multiple component you can see simply access it one time if you import it here okay so that the reason whatever modules you want to access you have to declare under import section import section is only useful for external import external module importing purpose only okay and declaration section why is it, what is it of this one it is useful for declaring the component direct in this place declaration section then what is the use of providers option providers option is useful for services if i create i will create my own services for do for communicate between back end and front end we will create services and to reduce the common functionality i mean <clears throat> same play, same function i am using multiple components instead of writing multiple pages i can use services also that i will show you practically but that services concept if you want to access throughout your application you have to register under provider section you have to import it first the service and you have to register under this place if any components are there 100 components also you can import it here i can register over here so that throughout your application wherever you want this component you can access it okay and you uh, whatever you are going to keep under this decorator all this information will be sent to this class because of this decorator <coughs> bootstrap option this is very very important so in your application i have 10 components or 20 or 200 components but all the components data i cannot see at a time defaultly one component only we can see okay whatever component you want to see first that component you have to specify <coughs> under bootstrap section okay under bootstrap section we have to specify that one <coughs> so you have you what you can see bootstrap section whatever you are keeping that content only we are going to see it now clear okay so now under this one see what happens here under this one what is what you are here just you can see now here i may have 100 components i don't care but whatever component i am keeping under bootstrap section it can be any component there is no mandate to keep app component but by default you will be having app component but if you want to change it any component you can change it whatever component you will keep it here that that component data only you will be able to see the output okay clear so each every word you are got clear or not see why we are using export keyword means i am trying to import the same module inside the main.ts if you want to import it here means you have to export it that's the reason we are exporting okay export keyword we are using for that purpose only any word if you don't understand in this place let me know any word if you don't understand in this place please let me know this is very very important that's the reason i'm saying this one if you got this clarity then you can understand any existing complex application also and you can understand any new application also yeah the export keyword is useful for you are, you are writing all these things inside this module so what we are saying whatever we will keep inside this module all the content we will be able to see in the browser so if you as this one you see we know right what is module module is a class if you want to access this class inside the main.ts 
we are importing we are trying to import it over here right app module so if you want to import it here you have to export it then only you can import it here if you don't export there and try to import it here you will not get it. is it clear we are trying to import it here right so if you want to import it here you have to keep the export keyword there otherwise you cannot access whatever you will keep all this stuff also you cannot access if you remove this one you cannot access in you cannot import it over main.ts that is the only reason we are keeping this export keyword okay anywhere in our application it may be component or it may be module or it may be uh, instance or it may be user different model also everything if you want to import it somewhere means you have to export that one then only you can import it anywhere if you don't export it you cannot import anywhere import export keyword also introduced in typescript only okay so this is clear right any other things if you don't clear let me know any word if you don't understand first main that ts we understood each and every word in this place also we understood this is the flow that's the reason i am spending this much time if you understand this flow you can open your existing projects also you can open your new projects also you can open any project also you will be seeing this flow only a little bit changes will be there based on your requirements but the flow will be same by seeing this one only you can understand you can go in depth of that project okay see now you can see right clearly right so now what we are saying whatever we are going to keep under bootstrap option that content only we will be able to see so where we are getting this app component same place app component.ts file and heroes place hero component okay so now we are bootstrapping only this component so app component opening i'm going to i'm going to open so that's the reason i just kept uh, main.ts we are bootstrapping app module inside app module ts multiple things all the things will be there but i can bootstrap only one component that component whatever i'll keep under bootstrap section that content only i will be able to see so i will open that one now main the app dot component.ts file this is come now i came into the place now i came in uh, came or not came now i am here now here that's the reason only i did change here hello sinvas or something i'll keep so it will be changing because this are this content only we are able to see that's the reason I, I got this one okay but i want to change this content how can i change if i change in some here i am changing but details also i want to change details i am not able to change how can i change these details for that purpose what we have to do we have to open this html this is called component this is called component so now i would like to show you what is component what is component component is also again class see component is also again class how can we say this class is a component again what is the difference if, I, if how can we say component is a class how can we say this class is a component means if my class is defined with the component decorator and pass some instructions in the form of metadata then only i can say this class is a component module means what if my class is defined with a great ng module decorator so based on this decorators definitions are changing but all are classes only because we are using feature so all are defined with classes only but uh, based on this decorators naming got changed see if it is if class is defined with great ng module means that is decorator if it is great component means that is component if it is great directive means that is directive or that directive also class pipe is also class great pipe if it is service also class great and injectable service okay like that decorator will change then the class will be names will be changed so now what is class means class is a what is component means component is a class how can we say the class is a component means if my class is defined with the component decorator and pass the method to the component metadata then only we can say this class is a component okay so now if you want to get this decorator we have to import this one if you don't import it you and you may not touch also you can see now if you don't import it what happens this decorator is not able to get i am not able to see the output you can see now got it or not so this is the flow i want you to make understand you no need to trust me you can see clearly okay so now i imported so that i got this decorator so that all this information what is the use of decorator whatever you will pass inside this decorator the total content will be sent to this class it may be component it may be my directive or it may be module it may be pipe anything don't care so whatever you will pass in this case all the data will be sent to this class so that's the reason so we are going to send all these things here this all these things whatever we will pass into the decorator those things are called decorators i mean sorry metadata this selected area called metadata option 
per component we have lot of metadata options we have but as of now three only year we have i will explain each and every metadata option also okay later in our component concept i would like to explain each and every metadata option so first i would like to we will understand so i will try to we are trying to concentrate on only the flow right now we are trying to understand application flow we want to modify the content so that's the reason we are concentrating on only flow later we will explain module concept separately component concept separately okay so now i want to understand this one so i understand this one and uh, this declarator came so selector tag is for what how come i am able to see this data see this is the selector tag this this will work as like a our own custom html tag it can be any name it may be any or it may be your name or it may be anything so whatever name you will keep the same name See, right now I am not getting any output. So now, now what we have to do now? This same name we have to keep it in index that HTML as like HTML tag. Then only we will be able to see the output. So that any right, any I can. So any I am going to keep it so that I am able to get the output. This single tag, this single HTML tag will render total component data and total web application also total Angular application. Will be rendered to the single tag. Okay. If you see any Angular application new page source, you will be able to see like this only simple basic HTML code only will be there. Remaining all the content will be rendered through this one simple tag dynamically total data. So what way how come it is coming? App app dot component dot ts file. We have selected tag. The selected tag I kept in index dot html because of that reason only I am able to see the output. Agree or not? Okay, so this is the application flow. Always this index dot html file only will be rendered. Any Angular application always this index dot html only will be rendered in the browser. So how come the remaining all the code is coming because of this simple tag? Because of this simple tag. Okay. This simple tag we are keeping in index dot html. It can be any name. It should be some meaningful. That's it. It can be any name. You can keep some tag or something. Any name you can keep. That tag if you keep inside the html. If you save this one, online one you don't have to do any compilation. But same thing if you keep it in this place. So that what happens? You will be getting the same content. Got it or not? See, if you don't keep this tag, you will not get the output. If you keep the same tag, whatever you are bootstrapping in this place. What is my root component? That component selects the tag only. You have to keep it in index that HTML. If you keep other component selects the tag, you will try to see the output. You will not get because this is single page application. If you see now, I have another component also, hero component also, right? Hero component selects the tag. I will try to take take it and I will try to keep the output in this place. See, I have this one. I will take it and I will try to see in the output. I will not get. You can see now. If I don't keep this one and try to keep a some other name, uh, app hero component I want to see. So if you keep like this, you will not get because I am not making this component as a root component. So if you keep also, nothing will happen. No output will come. See, nothing is coming because you are not making as a root component. If you make this component as a root component, then you will get. If you see this one, if you make it as a root component, then you can, then you will be getting. See, now you will get. Understood or not? But I am not getting app component data. Only hero component data. Whatever component you want to see, that component data only I am getting. Understood or not? See, main dot ts inside we are bootstrapping app module. App module inside whatever component you are making as a root component, that component content only we are going to see initially defaultly. Okay, so now as of now I am going to keep like a app component only, and I am going to save, save, open this component and this component selected tag whatever I have, the same selected tag I am going to keep it in index HTML. Then only I will be able to see the output. Otherwise I will not get. Understood or not? Any confusion is there in this place? Please let me know because this is very 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 important. If you understand this flow. You can play with any example, any project, existing project or any new project, any project you can play. Please let me know if anyone not able to get not get clarity. This is the application flow. Any Angular application you can see, this is the flow will be there. But see, I, as I told you, instead of app component, it can be any other component, root component. Okay, the selector tag can be any name, but flow will be the same. These four files, if you have, if you know, remember, then you can understand any complex application flow also. Understood? 
so this is the flow now as we are working on angular 4 5 sorry, this is the 5 version now i would like to come to uh, this one we are able to change also right okay, everything we are able to change okay now i know the flow so i got this and i i am able to do the change of the this heading uh, now i want to change the detail also but i am not able to change details how can i that change this see what happened now app component my root component right so inside app component select tag is useful for what purpose we came to know second one html part template url option is there so template url inside we are including one html page app that component that html page here whatever html code you want to keep here you can keep for example i want to keep something like hello or how are you or something simply you can keep it in this place you will close this one you will be able to see the output got it or not okay so this is the html page but uh, at first html title i am able to see that second i am calling the second component because directly we cannot see all the components at a time so what i have to do whatever root component i have the root component inside i will call multiple components how can i access any component data any component data if you want to access using the selected tag only i can access using this selected tag i can access this html page css file this business logic also how much business logic you may write all the things i can access through this selected tag it can be any name here hero component i have hero component all the data i can html page css file this business also, everything i can able to access through this selected tag so now total component data if you want to access using the selected tag only i am able to access so now i want to ma i make this app component as a root component inside this app component i am calling this hero component also so my uh, for example for our understanding purpose heroes app heroes instead of app heroes uh, something like ask pair i will keep something just you can keep whatever name you want so now it now i am not able to get so what i have to do now if you want to make it work what i have to do i have to keep the same name inside this app component HTML because I am trying to access in the root component. So, yes, where if I keep, I am able to see the output. Understood or not? So, simple. If you want to access any component, using the selected tag only, we are going to access. That you didn't keep it. It can be any name. There is no mandatory. It can be any name. So, now, this is my root component. This selected tag, I kept in index.html. Now, whatever HTML code I will keep inside the HTML page, the total content I am able to see now. So, first I am able to see the title. Okay. That title is coming from my TS file only. In this place, here I have title variable. That title I am keeping inside the HTML page. So, this is called model. That's what I talked. So, this is the model. Okay. And inside this model, I had written all the JavaScript or TypeScript code. And this code, if you want to see the output, what I have to do? I have to see the view HTML page. So, how we can display the content, whatever I have in this place. In Java, system.out.println, we are going to use. In PHP, we are going to echo. We are going to use. In ASP.NET, console.log. Similar way, in Angular also, we are going to use a concept called data binding. If you want to use that one, if you want to print output, you have to use interpolation operator. This two curly bracket is called interpolation operator. Okay, using this interpolation operator, we can print the output as like Java system dot out dot system dot out dot print alert. in Java console dot log in PHP echo similar way in Angular also. If you want to print anything using this interpolation operator, we are going to display. This is one of the data binding techniques. We have multiple data binding ways. I will show you later. I will explain separately tomorrow. But as of now, use this one. Why we are kept this curly bracket means this is one of the interpolation operator. Using this one, I can print the output, I can see the output. And second one, another component. If you want to access any component, we are going to call the selected tag so that the total content, whatever I am going to keep inside this place, all this content, I am able to get it. So now I want to change this detail, right? So I will open this HTML page. I will be able to find the detail. You can see now. Okay. Here what I want to do, I want to see courses or something. You can keep whatever name you want to keep. You can keep it so that it gets changed. So I'm able to modify this content. Now I'm able to modify this content as well. And I want to modify this one also. What I can do inside my TS file, you can see instead of one, if you want to keep two or 20 or something, whatever you want, you can change it here. And instead of win stomp, default value is there. In this place, I want to keep something skinny or something. You can see that one also. 
why we are getting this one is inside this HTML page, I'm using two way data binding. You can see now two way data binding I'm using. So, this two way data binding I'm using. So, that's the reason we are able to, whenever we are modifying here, I'm able to see directly here. Two way data binding this one. Is it clear? Okay. Clear? So, this is the application flow. Okay. So, yeah, everything I'm able to modify or not? So, I know how to modify this code now. So now I can play how many components I want to create, how many modify and everything. I, we will see one by one. First, we understood, try to understand now application flow. Any Angular application will follow this flow only. So first main.ts file will be there. Okay. Main.ts file will be there. Then after inside this main.ts, whatever module you are going to pass, that module content total content will be rendered in the browser. That content what we are keeping inside this, we are keeping uh, multiple components. But bootstrap section, whatever component you are going to specify, that component data only defaultly we will be able to see. So that component I am opening, that component uh, whatever you will keep, the total content we are able to see. How can we access all this component through this alpha tag? This alpha tag I kept in index.html. That is the flow. Any application you can take, this is the flow will be there. If you see now, this is Angular 5 application. If you see, now I would like to explain. See, as of now, I explained only five, four files. Remaining files, what about what is the use of other files? Those also having separate features. I will explain that one at tomorrow session. Okay. Now I would like to show you the eight application flow also. Same or not, I want to confirm. So you can see main.ts. Main.ts, we are bootstrapping app module. App module where we have same flow we have. App folder inside. See in this place, I have ng module decorator purpose. I have browser module, browser compatible to purpose. I have extra module, router module now. I don't have forms module, I have router module. The reason is if you want to integrate routing functionality for navigation from one menu to another menu, we are going to use routing functionality because this is a single page application. Always index.html only will be there. But I want to switch between multiple pages. How can we do for that purpose? In Angular, we have concept called routing routing functionality. Using router module, I can navigate switch between multiple pages. So in this application, they are using router module. So that's the reason router functionality is there. And reactive forms we are using. Two types of forms we have in Angular. It is template-driven forms and reactive forms. In this application, they are using reactive forms. In previous application, we are using template-driven forms. Okay, I will explain those things individually, but as, uh, giving examples. See, these are the two master modules are there in this place, and the app component is there. Two, three, two more components are added. But uh, see, uh, the creator inside uh, multiple modules. Whatever modules I have, all the modules are included here. This is router functionality. I will explain later. But defaultly, this one will come. If you don't configure anything, defaultly will come. But root component is what app component only. Root component is what? App component only. Under the declare section, we are including all this stuff. So, app component is my root component now. So, I will open that app component. Here I have this one. So, you can see app root is the file where we kept inside the index.html. That's the reason I am able to see the output. Okay. But I want to modify this uh, my store. What is the root component for us? App component is my root component. If I open this HTML page, I will be able to see the top bar component. Second, another component is there. So the top bar component is coming from here. Here you can see now. Top bar, app top bar is there. So in this place, I have HTML page. Inside this place, I will be having my store. Instead of that, I will specify Casper store or something. Casper store or something. Whatever name you want. Casper or something. If you want to keep, you can keep as you wish. Okay. And you want to change instead of checkout, I want to keep a cart or something. You can keep. Understood or not? I'm able to monitor or not? Out of uh, uh, application flow is same. Okay. Based on my requirement, I'm including. Okay. And here, route outlet. This is routing syntax. I will let you know. But uh, here, uh, dynamic components will be coming. So I want to change this product also. What I can do? Product component default to open. So how can I know that one is? Default component is product component. Product list component we are configuring here. So you can see here, product component here we have. In this place, instead of product, I will say course details are coming. So that I will be able to see that one. Understood or not? Clear? So whatever you understood the flow, same flow we are following, but that time I'm able to modify any content. In Angular 8 also we are doing, but additional things are there, but uh, flow is same. Angular 2 also same, 2, 4, 5, 6, everything. If you understand this flow, you can play with any version of any Angular application. You got it or not? Any doubts on this, please let me know.
now once we uh, tomorrow what i want to do is this is will now be played with angular online now tomorrow i would like to start with how we can set up in local for that purpose three ways we have using quick start we seed also i can set up quick start seed quick start seed i can set up second option is i can set up git clone also using angular cli nowadays most of the people will use angular cli only using angular cli also we can set up the application 90% of angular developers are using the cli only okay because it is it will make our life easy even angular people introduce separate site for this cli dot angular dot i i o if you see angular dot i o if you see you will be getting only cli commands okay i will explain these things everything tomorrow till now anyone having any doubts or anything please let me know now angular dot i o cli dot this is a core site cli dot angular dot i o if you click on this only cli site will come how much uh, yeah, why i am saying this one is i just want to show you this much popularity nowadays everyone using the cli angular google people also find that same thing and they introduce the site if you want to create your angular application in a in any multiple places how many projects you want to create if you remember this two new keywords done total application will be created for us with this two new keywords how we can do that one i will show you tomorrow okay I will show you this one. I will explain each and everything tomorrow. Till now, anyone having any doubts, please let me know. How index that is connected? Uh, Angular get in. Okay, good question, sir. Yes, good question. So what happens now? Actually, I want to uh, explain each and every file later. But you asked me this one, so I would like to explain now. Okay. I while explaining the part of sector, I would like to say that one. But now you asked initially. Good question. So now what I have, what we have is. Till now, we discussed about only four files. Those are the four files: main file, app dot module dot ts, app dot ts, and index dot html. How this main dot ts, index dot html will come? All the things in our application. What happened now? There is a file called angular dot cli dot json file. There is a file called angular dot json file. In this place, this is the file. First, it will load. This is the first file it will load. So what will happen now? Nah? In this, this is the first file it will load. That file will be loaded first. <clears throat> okay. So this file inside this we have each file first to this is like that is the mercy. Oh, first how the application running also here we are going to configure everything we are going to configure in this one. How the build should be run? How the application should start? All the things we are going to configure here. What is the main that is see? This is the first how the application should build means. using these two files okay how the application should run how the environment should configure everything main configuration application how should be should be running all the things we are going to configure in this file because of that reason only we will be able to see the output is it clear now how this index.html file will be rendered means in this place we are going to configure first application running and this sir tomorrow i will show you how the application will as it is online online tool right now we are discussing so i did not shown you how the application will run but offline in our local by as like type script how we are running similar way if you run that one that time i will show you how to how this is executing when it is going to execute all the things we will discuss tomorrow in our local side okay is it clear any other doubt anyone having please let me know in our session okay i am going to cover all the concepts with examples then after i am going to show you one e-commerce project then after from scratch onwards then after i will show you with java with angular one project then after how we can write the test cases how we can debug the application how we can debug the application okay so those things i would like to cover and how we can write the test cases how we can write the debugging how we can improve the performance tips also i am going to share and also services and also i am going to share the material also if you are want to continue this batch you can do the payment today and if you have any concerns on this questions or anything just to, uh, you can you know right davatyaster.com uh, you can go there we have the exam in our mail also you have the phone number and mail id info at uh, davatyaster.com you can ask those things and if you proceed if you want to continue this batch you can do the payment today.